Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of It's Bandit O'Clock Series 2. Now this week I am going to start stripping the engine and get to the gearbox. It's whining, it's not great, we need to fix it. Lots of people have been asking about this one so I'll try and talk you through and show off everything I'm doing to get to the gearbox and split the crankcases in half the best I can. So enough of that talking, let's crack on. So I'm going to start at the top of the engine even though it's laying over. I'm going to get all the bits up here off that allow me to then get to the bolts to strip the engine apart. So I'm going to start with the alternator. We've got one hiding away just under here I almost forgot my trusty rubber mallet might need this a couple of times today there we go and the alternator has been removed Next up is the starter motor. There's two 10 mils that have also got Phillips heads in them. One of them I can get undone with a ratchet, but the other one I might need to use a spanner on. Yep. Okay, bolts are out, give it a quick tap, and then a wobble, and the starter motor has been removed. Right, I've got all the stuff off the top, I've got the starter motor and the alternator off, I'm now going to get all three engine covers off, I'm going to get the starter cover off, the clutch cover off, and the ignition cover off. I'll show you this one. We'll skip the other two, just it's a bit boring and it's a bit samey, but we'll crack on and get that undone. Bolts are out, we'll give it a gentle tap. Give it a wiggle. And there we go. One star cover off. And what's really cool is the gasket's still intact as well. So, so all the engine covers are off. We're now going to take this like bracing plate off that goes around the output shaft and the uh, push rod for the clutch and we're also going to take the neutral switch off as well. I've cut in a little shot of these bolts here, they're little 10 mils, and I've actually got a little locking tab to stop them coming undone. I'm going to blame the new cameraman um, but we didn't record knocking those back but you just have to get a screwdriver in, flat-headed screwdriver and knock them back so the head of the bolt's free so you can undo it but I'm going to start taking it off now right, now that should come away and then you see the output shaft seal you see where it's a bit grubby but they tend to be a little bit grubby right now and then you push rod seal as well 
definitely needs a clean. Next up is the neutral switch. The wire is now free because we've taken the, the last piece off. This bit here makes your neutral light work when you are in neutral. There we go. Tiny little piece like that. And that there on the end is the uh, selector drum in your gearbox. So we've moved the engine round. Now we need to work on this side a little bit. We've got the clutch we need to remove. We've got the uh, ignition pickup and all of that's got to come off as well because it sits right in the center of the crank. So that's got to come off to take the bottom half of the crankcase off. So we'll start with the clutch. First up is the serve clip. I hate undoing serve clips. Let's take the pressure plate out. Comes undone. We'll take that out. Now, because I don't have the locking tool for the clutch to get the big nut out, so we can just take the clutch out. I'm going to get my impact wrench to uh, buzz that off. I've searched absolutely everywhere to find my 30 mil impact socket but I can't find it anywhere so uh, I'm having to use a normal one wouldn't recommend it but I just want to get this off real quick with my buzz gun with my buzz gun and it's off so now the clutch can come out oh. clutch removed the engine is getting much much lighter now so that's done we're going to move on to the ignition pickups we'll be using 19 mil spanner to hold the crank and then a 6 mil allen key to undo it but the engine's starting to rock around so because we're not allowed brolly dollies anymore I'm going to uh, get my glamorous assistant to come and hold the engine for me while I try and get this done done so, we now have a bill. Thanks, Bill. She's tight. <laughs> right, time to break the big guns out. These are pretty tight in here. Whoops, plan C, half inch with a much shorter flat bit. Good yep, ready? No. No? <laughs> ready? Cut. There we go. Whew. There we go. The rotor has been removed. Thanks for your help, Bill. No problem. Sorry about that audio loss. The battery's run out on the microphone. So, now the rotor's off, it's time to remove the pickup plate. We need to undo the little bolt there on the oil pressure switch. Keeping. Now we have three screws for the backing plate. These can be really awkward and sometimes you need an impact wrench, but we'll see how we get on. There we go. That one's undone. That one's undone. Oh. 
and that one's undone. So now this plate comes off just like that. We've got some wiring up here. That come out fast. Now we've got to try and feed this through. And the awkward bit is the plug at the other end. And then it's out. So one more bit done, we're getting closer to taking the gearbox out. Okay, we've got our handy assistant bill in again because there's two screws in here we have to undo because they hold a plate in that holds the crankcases together and these really do need the impact of this time so I'm going to see how I get on and try and not block the view. Beautiful, that's one I've done. And that one's loosened itself up as well. Excellent. Next job is the sump. We're gonna take that off and then it'll almost be time to start undoing the bolts that hold the crankcases together. So, time to crack on. Now it's time to give it a little tap and the sump will be off. There we go. Even though we drain the oil, there's still some in there. So it's always good to have a cloth down. For anyone still watching, there are a couple of secret bolts wouldn't necessarily say secret, but they're fairly well hidden and people tend to forget to undo them. I'm gonna show you where they are right now. Just in here, at the towards the front of the engine is a 10 mil bolt. And then at the back, there is a five mil Allen key. Now, a lot of people don't realize they're there, sort of forget to undo them, and then they can't split their crankcases in half. I have known someone to uh, miss these and use a chisel uh, and they destroyed their crankcases. So I wouldn't recommend that, but you do need to get them undone. So before I forget, I am gonna undo those. And there are a couple more bolts that I'm gonna show you soon that are also very well hidden. And again, lots of people forget to undo them. So let's crack on. With a bolt like that, you're definitely not gonna split your crankcases in half with that holding them together. So I'm now gonna move round to the handful of bolts that are at the top of the crankcases. I've got two five mil Allen keys just here. You'll be able to see on the other camera angle. And then there's a little 10 mil just hiding behind the oil drain pipe. So I'm gonna get those out now. So now I'm going to move on to the 10 mils. There's one little one hiding just there, and then there's three at the back. One of them's got the earth lead attached to it. Cool. 
Now these bolts are rather tight. It's time for more secret or hidden bolts. So the first one I'm going to show you is just there between where the push rod output shaft is. Okay, little 10 mil just there. Just about get a ring spanner on, and there we go. Again, it's one of the ones people don't undo and then wonder why the crank cases won't come apart. The next hidden ones are actually above the oil filter so I need to take the oil filter off and then just hidden above them are two 6mm allen keys. We're on the home straight now we've got 22 more bolts to undo combination of 10mm, 12mm heads and then two 6mm allen keys and then we'll be able to split the crankcases in half. So let's get cracking. I might need my glamorous assistant for this to help me hold the engine because these are done up rather tight. I think they're all cracked off. I did those ones. That one down there. Right, time to swap out to the 10 mil. just the allen keys to go. Oh. Last two to come undone are always the tightest. I'm gonna take all these bolts out and then we'll see if we can get it apart. Now is the moment of truth. Have I undone all the bolts? <laughs> We're about to find out. So I'm going to uh, probably go silent for a minute because I'll be concentrating, but I'm going to try and pop the crankcases in half. There's a couple of bits I can lever on, like the selector there and inside the clutch. Now I am going to use a rubber mallet, but I'm going to be gentle with it and it is just a rubber mallet. If you ever do anything like this, don't use a hammer or anything because you'll ruin it. So I'm going to give it a bit of a tap around the edge and see what happens. Oh, we've got some movement. All right, bit of wiggling. And I think we might have it off. One thing I do need to be careful of is the shells for the crank don't fall out the crankcase. So if they do that and get all muddled up, it's a bit of an issue because they will have mated to the crank and they'll have to go back in exactly the same place. And if they just all fall on the floor, problems. But let's see what happens. Let's give it a bit of a wiggle. Whoa. Oh. 
And there we have it, two halves of the crankcase. Well, a success for part one of the gearbox bit. We've got the crankcases in half. I'm gonna be a bit of a tease and I'm not actually gonna show you the gearbox any more than it is here. I'm just gonna uh, call it a day for this one. It's been a pretty long day. I had to go out and buy a socket and all sorts of stuff and yeah. So I'm happy I've got this far today. So I'm gonna call it a day for this one. If you guys could do me a massive favor and in the description below, there is a link to motorcycle MSP. Give the link a click, have a look at the old Bandit parts. They do all new genuine parts for Bandits and it's where I'm gonna be getting the bits for my gearbox. So give the link a click, take a look at what they got. They don't just do Suzuki parts, they do all sorts of parts. So they're well worth a check out. And if you can give the video a share, give us a comment. We love reading your comments and we try and reply to them as quick as we can. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this week. And until next time, we'll see you later.